we started this business because we just liked to brew a lot. And then um, I really liked science. So uh, I really liked getting more into the science of beer. Should be good. Good. To pour it from the bright tank. So this essentially was uh, my brother and I just started brewing at home. We started uh, home brewing and eventually we started taking it to family gatherings. We made a lot of beer. Um, we were working with five gallons and then we built a 10 gallon system. So it, it came about from just a passion of sharing our beer and just experimenting with beer that we've never seen before. It was just a small hobby that, that grew into a, a, a thriving community brew pub, I guess now. So the way we integrate our culture and integrate everything that we grew up with into our beer and into our brewing is mostly through the ingredients. So the type of ingredients we use in our beer um, are mainly Latino focused, which is we didn't want to just make it uh, Mexico. Uh, since we grew up in Mexico, that was mainly our inspiration but we just don't want to limit ourselves like, to, to a specific region. For us, we grew up with the chocolate bolita, the hot chocolate. We grew up with uh, Jamaica water. We grew up with agave. We grew up with horchata. So those, those ingredients we started including into our beers and we really went and made sure that those flavors are the forefront of that beer. That's our way of sharing that, that flavor, that culture we grew up with. Our signature beer is our Blood Saison. The reason it's called Blood Saison is because of the color. It's a lot of people confuse it for blood orange, but it's actually hibiscus and agave. One of our first successes and actually one of our best selling beers right now is that Blood Saison. Apart from that one, a, a close follow up and uh, a coming up is our Chata Golden Stout, which puts cinnamon and vanilla into it. So those two are also a very traditional Mexican drink. Our third one right now is our Chocolate Bolita Stout, which is also a very mellow, a very mild, a very milky stout. So those three beers currently are what we put to the forefront to try and portray who we are and why we can do different things as a brewery. It's that our beers are meant to cater to a uh, people to uh, tackle most their, their nostalgic reflexes and to some extent their exotic need for different ingredients or different flavors and textures. And so it's a, it's a unique proposition that we're offering people. This location is mainly a more production facility base to be able to upgrade to at least a 10 barrel brew house. Uh, so that was the main purpose of this location. Even though we have a two barrel system, which is like super small, uh, we have to pedal like a bicycle like really fast just to make enough beer to, to, to meet uh, demand. Created an atmosphere in our tasting room that's very centralized into our culture as well. So we share a lot of the local artists uh, from here in Barrio Logan, San Diego. Uh, it's a big up and coming artist community. Uh, we just want to keep that culture, keep that essence of who we are. So when people come in, they realize like, oh, this is a little bit different. This is, uh, this is, this embodies kind of what we wanted to portray to people. So we're always trying to do new and exciting things when it comes to beer. We're always trying to give that little Latin Hispanic twist to all of our beers, but we really want to specialize in those beers that just have more of a unique flavor to them and uh, come enjoy our culture. I think anyone that comes here leaves with either a surprise of what they see or at least they'll enjoy our beer.